Welcome to Channel One ITV's In the Grand Scheme of Things podcast, where we talk about life, pop culture, and everything in between. My name is Devin. I'm Sam at Offered Seventy Five on Twitter. I'm Lee at Bombay Gunrunner on the Twitters. I'm Dustin at Brat Seventy Seven on the Twitters. I'm Aaron Grant at Aaron Grant on Twitter. All we should right. trade <laughs> handles sometimes. Big handles. Bubba Rogers was listed as being from Louisville, Kentucky in this <laughs> match. <laughs> I was always you. excited when they would do that. Oh, he's I near thought me. he was from Stone Devin, Mountain. You know, that's Devin, you need, to, you need to give out your Twitter Jake handle. Stone Mountain. Mm-hmm. What's, what well, was, yeah, what my boss man from? Cobb County, Georgia. Cobb County. <laughs> what? Huh? What? What? What are we doing? Well, it's what at Channel 1 ITV. I mean, yep. that's the... <laughs> The place, but right? Yeah, it's, that's, that's how at. you reach Devin. If you want also. to reach, if Devin. you would like to yell at Devin or maybe give him some words of support during this time of not knowing pop culture at Channel One ITV. This is an uh, intervention, basically. Channel uh, One uh, spelled ITV. Of course, your Twitter message will be lost in the news feed of seventy or eighty artists that I've been following. So. Well, that's your problem. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> Screw the normal people. The Can Am Connection. Who was that? Tito Santana. I mean, oh, Rick Martel and Tom Zink. Tom Zink. What I don't know. Z-Man. I have no idea what we're talking horrible. about. We're going to looking at old magazines. We're going to get rid of these old wrestling magazines. <laughs> 1987. The, the October of 87. Inside Wrestling. Uh, yeah. That's where we are today. So a lot of the uh, wrestling magazines that feature Sam Alford. Do they Especially still even do wrestling magazines, or is it all online? Yeah, they're I down to so. two, I think, and they combine them. Pro and they're like eleven dollars for a magazine now. Shh. Pro yeah. Wrestling Illustrated, eleven dollars. Yeah, they're still around. Mm-hmm. Pro Wrestling Illustrated still puts out its top five hundred every year. Doesn't right, it? they're still around. Okay, so what do you get with this eleven dollars that you couldn't get with whatever a dollar? The internet. Uh, magazines are still around because of circulation, but even though they throw glossy half of those things away, pages. glossy pages. Because this it. is all black and white. Because yeah. I mean, uh, even this oh god, trash. the metal magazines were all like that too back then. Metal Edge and stuff like yeah. that. Uh, Mad Magazine went all color, and now they have to have advertisements. I, I was happy with the black Mad and white. Magazine, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I love it. You can't like get it in this town. Mad anymore. Magazine. My I mean, God. Do you not like that either? I like I Cracked look, better than Yeah, that. I like, always, we always like Cracked better. I buy both of them. Oh, man. I subscribe to uh, Inside Wrestling, Pro Wrestling Illustrated. I didn't subscribe. For Hit reason. Parader. Rip. Circus Magazine. Rip. Oh, Rip I, could bring a, I could bring a lot of those in, actually. Oh, Rip was God. a great magazine. They're like worth 50 cents now. <laughs> I still wow. subscribe to Rolling Stone. Still? That's about it. Didn't you get the Lifetime subscription? No, I screwed up. They offered a lifetime subscription for like a hundred dollars, and no, I you didn't, didn't do it. No. And now I don't know if they still do or not. But it's just like twelve bucks, fifteen bucks. I just a year. go online and mm-hmm. read all their stuff. Basically, you damn right. Well, it makes you it quicker right. to read the magazine if I see it online and I read it online. Then I don't have to essentially read half the magazine. I guess some of the big news, music news this week was the big. Uh, Foul up about Malcolm Young and ACDC. A lot of confusion over that. That was What's a foul crazy. Up? They said they were going to retire, and then they and actually was, asked the band. And that he was sick near death or something. Well, not he, near death, but I think he did very, have a very ill. I think serious, he did have a stroke. Serious illness was the words they kept saying. And I, I, saw, I saw his ability. A, on Facebook a news story where some, you know, like radio station or something was putting out there. That, oh, apparently ACDC's done. Malcolm Young is seriously ill. I got that issue. Won't be able to continue. And they're not going to make music anymore. And then the very last sentence was, nobody from the band has actually said anything. <laughs> but our yeah. thoughts and prayers are with them. It's like, right. so basically everything you put before this, you know, you might as well say, we're just purely speculating on this. But it's sad anyway. You know, it's, all, it's, it's like just, so stupid. It's like the Valerie Harper thing. She they put out an article. She, she said, was on I'm, death's door. I'm mm-hmm. cancer free. And then I read the article. She does not say that. The next day she has to do an interview. She said, I didn't say I was cancer free, but it's under control. Right That's now. like saying I did not lose a limb. Breaking right. news: Huffington Post. Kendall Jenner wears a bikini. That's what this world is. It's just that's bullshit. basically what it's come down to. Andy, Andy Warhol warned us. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. He did. He Everyone did. would be famous for 15 minutes yep, in the he, future. Uh, he's well, so right. What is yelling out there? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry fact, I just hope this isn't our 15 uh, minutes. Well, that's ACDC, what YouTube's for. We've we've only had about 30 um, seconds. Maybe. One of Dustin's topics he brought up, I guess, late before we wrapped up was a band's first track on their first album. Oh, yeah. yeah. And ACDC, High Voltage, it's a long way to the top. Yeah. 
or a, a back you did your black, homework on Hell's that Bells. one. I was trying to to think. Well, see, um, well, you, if you want to go ACDC, you got back in, or you've got uh, Hell's Bells on Back in Black. You've got. Uh, we're we talking debut album, though. Debut, talking album debut album first song. This was right. debut album. Was this a long way? To yeah. The pop? Yeah. yeah. In the American version of High Voltage, yeah. Yeah. And then in, I looked up a couple more too. What, what else do you have? Um, I have Stone Temple Pilots' "Core Dead and Bloated," great song. Mm-hmm. What about Gunner Roses? Uh, well, that was pro- was, was "Welcome to the Jungle" Welcome the, the first song. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Motley yeah. Crue, "Too Fast for Love," live wire. Too oh, fast. Yeah, live yeah, wire. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. live wire was such a ACDC's good song. ACDC's live wire is much better though. Zeppelin, "Good Times, Bad Times" on the first Zepp. Mm. Those were all hits though. Pretty much the first. I mean, I or those I are songs everybody hears on Speaking of Led radio. Zeppelin's Good Time, Bad Time, let me tell you what I hate. What do you hate? I hate it when bands cover a song like, uh, who was it, Godsmack covered Good Times, Bad Times. Yeah. And except for the lead singer, it sounds exactly the same. It's, it's almost like... If you're like going to cover a song, screw around with I it. I don't know. What it about may they, fail, but it may be great. What about when they slowed down Rock and Roll All Night? I thought that was I liked the it better than moronic the original. thing that I'd ever heard. I about. haven't the slightest idea what you're speaking uh, of. Kiss My Ass, the, Toad C- the, the album. Sprocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was it Toad the Wet Sprocket? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I didn't like it because Toad the Wet Sprocket did it. So I like know, that band, though. Yeah. Speaking of Toad the Wet Sprocket, I think it was part of the... Has anybody ever said that? No. <laughs> just the first time that has ever been uttered. It was a Monty Python thing. <laughs> right, uh, right. I was seeing on the Twitters today uh, about Rolling Stone uh, put out a tweet about... Ooh, official ratings. Put out the tweet about the top 40 albums of the best year of like mainstream alternative albums. 1994. Okay. And Toad the Wet Sprocket, I think, was one of those albums. Was, I, what was I number went one? Through, I went through and counted them up, I'm telling and I you. think I, I own five <laughs> yeah, of the that, 40. I was about to see it. I wasn't a huge alternative fan. I remember them on the radio and on MTV, but I didn't buy a lot of alternative records or No Counting CDs. Crows for you? Counting Crows no. wasn't part That's of it. That's not alternative. Uh, well, they kind of threw they even threw White Zombie in there at a at a point just to get I tell you mileage was, on yeah, MTV. Yeah. I tell you what was included. It What's was that? A, a band who just recently announced their reformation and going on tour. Um, it was their debut album, The Debut. Uh, in 1994. Four Non Blondes. No. <laughs> They're doing but one it's two show. Chicks. They are going to do a show. two chicks. Oh, oh, See, um, uh, Baruch Assault. Baruch yeah. Assault. Right. Oh. I love some Baruch I do Assault. love that band. Volcano house. Girls is arguably the greatest song that's ever been written. I think the greatest album title ever was Blow It Out Your Ass, It's Baruch Assault. Mm-hmm. I must say. Well, so is that, is that, down. if you're on the metal show and they ask you what, what song you wish you'd written, you're saying Volcano, Volcano Girls? Girls. <laughs> yes. It's the greatest song of all time. The number one uh, greatest uh, num- 1994 uh, alternative album of all time was, was something I can't remember. <laughs> really? Okay. You can't remember what it was? But go. I think Weezer was number two, the Blue album. Yeah. Their, I guess it was they, their day, but. So if you want to go that way, I think the first song was uh, Say It Ain't So. Probably. That's not the first one. Was it not? Undone? Was that the first one? Maybe? No. My Name Is Jonas is the first Maybe my track name, on right, Blue My Name album. Is Jonas. I'll... I'll that I'll was kind of that's when you started care. getting into music, wasn't it? <laughs> huh? The nineties? Didn't you start getting into? Wasn't kind of, yeah. In the nineties, any alternative bands that you were into? Uh, no, he was into REM, boy bands, something like that. Exactly, I was into boy. He bands. was into boy bands. In sync, you know, Backstreet Boys, Ninety Eight Degrees, O Town. He really, he was a huge O Town fan. Oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> fun fact. Not, not so fun fact. Not so fun fact. <laughs> oh, it's a fun fact. O Town's getting back together, but without Ashley. Angel Park. How can they do that? I don't know. They Who, were, what the they hell? Were I don't know how. What I, could I, Ashley Angel Parker be doing to turn down <laughs> getting back no together with O Town to go on one of the least anticipated tours of all time? <laughs> what are they playing? Living rooms? They should. They should go on tour with other people that didn't get back together. I can't believe you knew, you knew one of their names. <laughs> That's the only one I know their name. Is that because because I know he... is, and I know that the rest of them are very diverse looking. Well, that's the one they did on MTV. <laughs> yeah, they I watched formed it. Oh, O-Town. that was what were oh. they? Wasn't that ama- it wasn't making. Yeah, wasn't yeah, that, was, that was with that the was guy. That was with the dude that was a complete Pearl. total scammer. 
Ron Perlman, wasn't, wasn't it? Was oh, that was Ron. No, it's not. No, he was Backstreet Boys. He's still in jail. Ron Perlman. That's Hellboy. That's Hellboy. Yeah. <laughs> that's Hellboy. <laughs> what the hell? I, I'm sorry, Mr. Perlman. I do not want to disparage your great name. He's an avid listener of this podcast. I love Ron Perlman. Hellboy, Pacific Rim. He was great. We just saw that. Could he night. put a boy band together? Yeah. You think? Ron per- Ron Perlman. He, he can do anything he wants. <laughs> yeah, he was on Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, he can put a motorcycle game together. As far as I know, he still is. I don't know. I don't watch it. Maybe they need a tough boy band. They haven't really had that. Tough boy band. The tough, tough boy band. band. There's new kids on the block. Uh, hey, come on. Yes. <laughs> We're stuck with one Hanging direction tough. for a while. I'm afraid. We're rough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Devin will go down swinging talking about that being the toughest boy. <laughs> well, Donnie, didn't they, Donnie Don- you don't think Donnie would stick to you if he if it came down to it? I guess he probably would. He, but he probably has one of those. I think his brother. His, I think his brother probably would. Mark did time. Yeah. He, oh, did. he did time. Yeah. Didn't he beat somebody guy. up for calling him Marky Mark? One did time? he do time for stealing Versace underwear? No, didn't, didn't he kind of dodge a murder rap or a attempted murder rap? Or All something? I know is he was what? juvenile. Huh? He was Marky juvie Mark? big time. Oh yeah, he was delinquent. <laughs> he was juvenile Mark? before he became famous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Marky Mark killed somebody. He was actually supposed to be in New Kids on the Block. He was the Joe, and then but they he got was Joe. In jail. Oh, yeah. He was that, seriously. That, that, is, that is what sucks so much about about especially nineties. Whenever all the boy bands and crap like that happened, uh-huh. because it was quite literally somebody just wrote down a formula. You know, it's like. All the kids, uh, you know, you want to get... Good <laughs> <laughs> uh, very <laughs> professional. <laughs> I just I just found out that Pez Watley was billed from Lexington, Kentucky. It threw me off. You're an idiot. <laughs> but anyway, it was like someone wrote down a formula. You need to be ver- fairly diverse. Uh, and and if 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 nothing else... if you Fairly just, diverse? As in all white boys. Well, but if, if they're all white, you just have to change up facial hair and or yes. hairstyle. Somebody style. needs a funny haircut. Somebody needs a line beard. Another dude yeah. needs a spiky haircut. Right. Somebody Another has to have some curly have, hair. Have a, a, Big a pants white boy dread sticking off your head to make you look like you've got, uh, you know, what uh, cartoons use to make themselves look like a chicken, a big glove with the, <laughs> with the thumbs. A hamburger the helper yeah. hand. Yeah. 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 Hamburger helper hand. Now all, all the white boys have to have, have different haircuts that make them look like Japanese anime. <sighs> Basically. Because One Direction, that's all white people. Well, actually, I don't that's know. That's racist. That one, I know, that one is not, white has a weird name. Should we be talking about that's racist right. too. That but. One Direction is straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord! But O Town, good for you. Uh, who would you rather see, O Town or Veruca wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Are you looking at a centerfold in a wrestling magazine? It's yes, a indeed. Superstar Billy Graham. Yeah, Superstar when he Billy was Graham. In his, uh, Kung Fu stage. Now, we're gonna have to sorry. burn these magazines. Kung Fu exactly. <laughs> You're gonna have to take Centerfolds are only acceptable in like Playboy well, issues. Centerfold. I still think that's a badass picture, though. That is. I was castigated uh, for putting it as my face. I was. saw that. So you got another bloody picture of Rick And then Flair. I put Stone Cold up there with the blood run down. I got yelled at again. <laughs> I used to I buy Fangora it. magazine. Does anybody remember that? Oh, yeah. I, do they still Who? publish? They still yeah. About $11 per issue. $11? <laughs> $11, really? Well, it's something around those now, lines. It's well, when you were you? able to sell them for $2 back in the day when millions of people bought them, now when only 100 people buy them, you've got to charge 11 to $15. Or you could put it on in the end. Internet. You do. You Basically. do both. Okay, I got one. Do yes. they still publish Teen Beat and Sixteen? Well, sure. Dynamite. All those. Mm-hmm. Sure. Dynamite and, and Tiger. <laughs> they don't have Dynamite in it. They got <laughs> Tiger Beat. Tiger Beat. They still Sixteen. Have. I got every week. Do you have any? Marky I still Mark? have them. I still. Oh, what is it? New kids. Oh, bring them in. We'll put what some there, pictures on the wall. Wasn't there a Seventeen? Seventeen's a different. That's a. Yes, there is a 17 magazine. Radically different is. than well, 16. Radi- <laughs> 17, that's what, that's 17 what the band's was facial hair. hardcore porn. Well, 16 was the See, 16, 16 was about like then, your first car, and then 17 was about your second. <laughs> yeah. and, and then the magazine that I got that I have several issues of, and I'll bring them in, Sassy. <laughs> I, I Do we remember, remember Sassy? I remember our cousin, no. our cousin Julie, Julie had used Sassy. To get Sassy. That had Kurt and Courtney on the cover at one point. I know that was on the cover of Sassy. Sassy, yes. That's, that's not okay. Sassy. That's, Sassy's uh, working a little blue. There wasn't an alternative magazine, was there? Druggy. Wasn't there? Like, well, maybe mm-hmm. one or two. In their alternative press, 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 their alternative right. press. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, this brings up an interesting topic. What is everybody's sure? childhood magazines? Well, I just said. Yeah, yeah just Wrestling said. Illustrated. Wrestling magazine. Wrestling. Uh, Fangora. I apparently my dad bought crack. my first issue when I was seven. 
And this is like the Playboy of horror movie magazines. They even had a centerfold of somebody dead in a film. <laughs> somebody getting their throat ripped I don't out. Know. And I used to buy it at the drugstore, and they would just shake their head. And I, I'm sure they'd said, <laughs> pull this thing off the shelf. We don't want to sell this stuff. And then, they, and then they said, wait a minute. He keeps coming in and buying it. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know that Fangoria has ever been described as the Playboy of horror magazines. Well, they had, oh, yeah, they had, uh, like I said, centerfold. They had big bloody penises and no, packed up like boobs. <laughs> All they that never, great stuff. They put it for those bank, bank, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got 16 and I got... Well, no, Dad bought Mad Magazine every week or whenever it came out. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have thought that. Yep. I like Cracked. I buy Mad every eh. once in a while. I like Cracked. Cracked is like John Mellencamp to Bruce Springsteen's <laughs> Mad. Yeah. <laughs> I remember getting... <laughs> it's a good How comparison. Dare How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I liked it, though, you know? I bought the magazine, too. You're lucky you're not getting punched <laughs> in the face right now. I bought the... I remember buying a gigantic comic book. You remember those comic books? Yeah, I've got yeah. a couple of those. Yeah. Gigantic. And I think it was Batman versus Hulk? No, well, there was... There was a, something weird. Well, yeah. Just the Thing versus Hulk. But it had... But I remember the Spider-Man, and it had Spider-Man Maybe and Spider-Man Batman and villains. Batman. And they were on the back Scarecrow was, was on there. Yeah, on the back was a giant, giant, like... I don't know. It's it almost like something you see on the internet where you say, find all of the... You know, Marvel superheroes and villains, or something like that, and it was really weird. But I don't know how they did all crossovers, DC and Marvel crossovers. I don't know I, how they uh, did that at the time. I wasn't a big no. comic book geek, which is mm-hmm. weird because I like all the the movies, and I'm a geek, and I like all. Yeah, but that stuff. was also back when there was also cartoons and Spider Man cartoons, Incredible Hulk cartoons, G.I. Joe, yeah, yeah. X Men cartoon, quality cartoons to watch X Men cartoons, Thundercats. Oh, thunder, yeah. thunder, 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 Thundercats! <laughs> oh, it was such a dumbass show, but we watched it. We watched it. Yeah, it was He Man. What about He Man? And Oogle and Tron. Oh, I was pointed uh, that Stinkor was never in Oogla. an episode. I would have loved to oh, yeah. play that off. And then they had Man at Arms and Skeletor. And that was He Man. Mask. Yeah. That was a. Remember mask? I remember having the Vaguely. mask stuff. Yeah, Vaguely. I remember. Remember we had the big, the big semi Optimus. Well, not, I say Vaguely. Optimus Prime, but yeah. Was it, it had, M period A period N? What did yeah. it mean? And the yeah. bad guys were named motorized assholes. <laughs> Venom. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Venom. <laughs> Venom. <laughs> they were the <laughs> the bad guys in mask. Yeah, they were the and they Cobra. were vehicular enormous knobs of <laughs> money? something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, that's, if that's you exactly know what, what mask and or venom stands for, email us at grandschemes at channel one itv dot com. Set us straight. Exactly. I will have to say that I think that when I was a little munchkin around uh, the, in the the sweet spot of seven to ten year olds, where you don't know jack shit about nothing, <laughs> I think even I had the the tiger beat and the team beat type With bull what crap. Were you after that? I remember, <laughs> you know. I remember Christy McNichol. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Dukes of Hazard, probably Catherine Bach was mm. probably. I remember, I remember a Dynamite magazine with Ron Macchio on the cover. Dynamite. <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> We'd order those in school. They'd yeah. give you the book orders, and then they yep. would. Uh, oh, oh yeah. I think we remember Dynamite. Yeah. Oh lord, it was a different time. Well, there was Highlights yeah. magazine. Uh, highlights Goofus. for children. Mm. Goofus and Gallant. That I don't. Know. That I do not remember. Oh. Do you remember the mini page in the paper? The only picture paper. pages. Picture pages. No, the mini page. Mighty picture funny. Pages, the, picture pages. Picture uh, pages. Maybe no. it's coming to eh. picture page. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, vaguely. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you kind of. No, I do not remember that. I have, I have flashes of memory, and then just as quickly That's as they here come, for. they depart. I know. Yeah, that, it's, <laughs> Sam is, is like our remote storage of memories from the eighties. Mm-hmm. Except he can't, he can't remember anything that has happened within the last several years. No. but he remembers everything. <laughs> That's all a blur. <laughs> Thirty remembers, years ago, I'll tell you. He remembers stuff he doesn't even know from the eighties. <laughs> That's how good his brain is. Like that rap that we're still waiting on to find. The yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Oh, oh, man, that. I just the uh, Beaver Dam Beaver. I remember shuffle. Well, I don't remember how the <laughs> rap went. I remember there was one. I just don't remember where I put it. Right. That's the okay. problem. So it's somewhere. It comes out of problem. Well, <laughs> considering that you put it somewhere in like 1988, <laughs> or, or actually probably. Uh, close I would have figured you would have had your archives much better. I know. Well, actually, much you know, better organized. Sam's I room. I you know, I've been in Sam's room, and it is like a museum. It's like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame museum. It, you've got yeah, and Kiss was in there long before. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure Sam. I'm sure Sam is still dealing with a rotary cell phone. 
So you should go to his room and take a picture of what it looks like. He's the one with it's, the rotary phone, actually. Uh, yes, do you I have am. a rotary phone? It doesn't work, yeah. though, does it? Yeah. Yes, it does. It still works? You can yeah. call out. You can talk on it, but not call out. Is that what you're talking well, about? Well, you, yeah, you can't call out then anymore. Then it doesn't still it, work. It doesn't still <laughs> work. Right. But you can talk on it. Yeah, you can. It, it, you can well, lift it, it up and still do the numbers, calls, but you can't call or answer no, any phone. No, no you can have a conversation on it. You can call. It calls in, but you can't call out. Because of it's like a, well, it's like it's the not, telephone it, front desk telephone for Hotel California. It's, it's like saying <laughs> I, I'm, it's like it's you like, can call in any time you like, but you can never call out. Exactly. <laughs> well, it's it's like hey, I've, I've got a I've got a 1924 Dodge car. It's like, does it run? Yeah. Well, it doesn't go forward, but <laughs> it, it still, still runs. runs. Yeah, it runs, so like, it won't move, but it'll start. Well, then it doesn't operate. Right. It, it halfway operates because people actually sell those in antique stores. You so there was a, a bones. And, oh, from yeah. like you know they sell 1990s. postcards. You know what's awesome though is uh, Sam actually had a band in his house a couple of years ago. Do what? Yeah. Well, they're in the driveway anyway. Well, what? close enough. Well, what band was it? Sam lies a lot. Doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. He makes stuff up a lot, like, doesn't no. he? He's no, got a working he's, phone, except for the fact that it doesn't work. Well, it halfway works. Play in your bathroom. He just has they disappointing outside. stories, you know. Well, they I, don't live up to the hype. Well, maybe that's what it is. He's got to embellish <laughs> because they're horrible yeah. stories. You're not. You're not. You're not the raconteur, are you? No, he, I, I should have just gone along with him. He's, yeah. he's a. He's a hype man. He, he builds I, it up. It just doesn't deliver. <laughs> yeah. I woke up. Sam had Metallica playing in his breakfast nook. <laughs> That did on happen, a jam box. <laughs> yeah. That's in the little dot dot dot. Fine so you there. had the vespers play in your driveway. Uh, yeah, just for you. <laughs> yeah, and I, I went out with. Uh, I took both the chicks out to dinner. Well. You did. See, they what did happened go. after dinner was over? <laughs> See, the story Good does Lord. get better. Were, are they I, twins, I took, Sam? Were no, they, they twins? No, they weren't twins. No, but they're smoking hot, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Eh, why you man. think they listen to this? Eh. What? There is no... Eh. No. One Dustin of them is... is Dustin is jealous of no. your game. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know... That's a, good, that's a big one I'm up jealous over of the there. story, yeah. actually. Oh, yeah. Anyway... I'm still waiting for the end of the story. You took them out. We gotta leave there. it. At, we gotta leave it at that. Dot dot oh. dot. Dot dot. dot. Gentlemen, to never they, might listen, they might listen to the we podcast. We took them out to dinner. Had a little chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's>, <laughs> <laughs> dribble off those Bobby Brooks. <laughs> a gentleman doesn't kiss and tell, or he just doesn't tell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I've got a topic. Tell it. Oh. All right. <laughs> Did you see all the tweets and stories about Mrs. Doubtfire 2? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Angry is how I No, I didn't it. see that you're... Uh, now, most of, those, most of the ones I saw were supportive. Well, they are, but, but let's get real. Come on. Somebody somebody wrote that the studio finally got 20 years worth of support from nobody. From nobody. What year? What year did that come out? 93, 93. I believe. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. The, the little kid, the, the, the girl who played downwards. the little bitty girl, Mara Wilson. Wilson. Is that her name? She was, she's the one that likes to whisper. She's already come out and said, this is a horrible idea, and I hope they all What has she head. done since then? Nothing. Nothing. No, Matilda, she quit. And that was she it. absolutely she she quit. Grew up at all. She grew up she, in, she was in Matilda, wasn't she? She, did, she was Matilda. Okay. She did Mrs. Doubtfire. She did Mur- Miracle on 34th Street. Oh. And like 16 other movies that same year. And then, I She's guess, gone. turned six years old and said, hell with it. And wow. quit. And she looks exactly what you think that she would look like as yeah. a grown-up. Ooh. Same haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Same haircut. Same haircut. Same haircut and everything. I, I was following her on Twitter, but then I couldn't after a while because it was just like... <sighs> I can't believe you actually found that she had a Twitter handle. Why, why would you How not, did you why come would across you, that? What was the problem? I think she wrote about... Well, I think people wondered if that was really her that was on Twitter. And well, she who's going to impersonate She wrote her? about... Well, no, she wrote about Assholes. her career or what she's been doing since then. <laughs> uh-huh. And what it was like, maybe, to do Mrs. Doubtfire. But, yeah, they, they say that they've got Robin Williams on board for this. And you oh, know wow. that's... Oh, Hello! Hello! That's how they need to introduce the I just don't understand. I don't understand making a sequel to a 21 years later. Is, what I didn't get is they said this has been in the talk since 2001. I mean, is Robin, find, is Robin Williams not doing good enough on the crazy one? He went through a divorce. 
Yeah, that's, that's why he returned to television. The divorce tour. Oh, but wow. Jesus, how much well, money does he owe well, to do commercials and to me, television? If you make a movie, and I remember when Mrs. Doubtfire came out, I remember it watching hot. it I watched four thousand oh, times. It was huge. Yeah. And if you're not gonna go back to that well in 1994 or 95, you know, I mean, look at right now. Right now, when a movie comes out the first weekend, if it hits. We find out, oh, they're making four more X Men movies. Mm-hmm. They're making six mm-hmm. more. But they Avengers didn't do that movies. back then. You know, they I win. understand that. Yeah. But you would like to think that at some point they would go back to the well. You know, like when we but, were in high school. But see, <laughs> that movie wrapped up. It had nowhere to go. If, That's right. if we're being honest, he went, Mrs. Spoiler Doubtfire alert. went nuts, yeah. killed yeah. Sally Field, and ate the kids. <laughs> they could have turned it into a TV show. And they could have done and done. But that, and that then, never they went to Alaska either. and became a lumberjack. Yeah, grew <laughs> oh. <For> a beard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I. Yes, they could follow it up. I don't know what the hell. I, mean, I don't think they'll get anybody else back in. Here's There's all no I've point got to say on this. Well, one fire. of those kids said he would do it, and I'm like, of course, of because course you're you broke. Would. And Robin he, Williams he's, he's same done nothing difference. Since. Wait. Here's what I've got to say about. So Mrs. Robin Williams is broke. I don't know. He's not broke. I'm he's just saying. Oh, he needs the money. I need the money. Let okay. me do this. Character. I'm out. This is doubtfire. I'm out. You're out. Not going to see it. I don't think he's had a starring role in how long. Action movie that Stallone wrote. I'm out. Exactly. Um, I feel bad for I think we were talking about Belushi and Eddie Murphy mm-hmm. a couple of weeks ago, and I think Robin Williams did a lot of easy movies like Richard Pryor did, and it kind of hurt his career instead of doing what he wanted to he do. Didn't, he, he took the money. He didn't yeah. do Eddie Murphy, though. Eddie Murphy decided 20 years ago that he was never going to make a funny, you know, hard R, you nope. know, movie that would be commercially successful in the way that Beverly Hills Cop was and all those other movies that he made, he said he's done. He, he was making movies for his kids. It's That's almost all he was doing. like Beverly Hills Cop 3 killed him. So yeah. what is he doing now? Beverly well, Hills Cop 4. He's driving <laughs> around, picking up, you know. Trannies? That was 20 years ago. Did you That's a timely <laughs> reference. Out. That is a timely <laughs> reference. It wasn't it, though. Hey, he could still be doing it. We just don't know about it. You I don't know. know what Eddie Murphy's doing. The last thing I saw him in was Dreamgirls, I think. They well, were doing all the do. Shrek movies. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He was going to be Richard Pryor, but they he backed out of that. He was uh, going to. Well, I've got news for you. But Eddie Murphy's funnier than Richard Pryor. I yeah. know Richard what? Pryor's wow. a genius. Yeah, but you put up you put up Raw or uh, Delirious against any of Richard Pryor's stuff. There's no contest. Email us at Bombay Gunrun. Well, you two are in that channel. That. What? <laughs> Email us about that. Uh, I would. Who would uh, you? Who did you Grant like? We need at channel one itv.com. We need a debate. Eddie or Richard? What is your? We need a debate forum between Lee and Sam on this. Hmm. You're leaving Aaron out. <laughs> Is it because she's a woman? <laughs> that's yes. racist. No, that's sexist. That's huh? sexist. Oh, that's sexist. Uh, Dustin, are you my favorite all time comedian? I'll how on is George I'll... Carlin. You put the whole segment talking about the b- barbecue where Gus comes over and burns up his backyard, and he's got the Bigfoot kid and Goony Goo Goo. I'll put that up <laughs> against any Richard oh, Pryor yeah. bit that you've got. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> They picked up the fish, they looked at me, and they went, Goony Goo Goo. What is this? This is my house. Oh. If you don't like it. If you don't like it. That's that's from what, Delirious or yeah. Raw? It's Raw, I believe. But. See, Raw. Well, but see, the thing really, we've we got Murphy. two stand up Eddie Murphy performances to draw from, just two. Delirious is. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, I'm not it. saying that. You that's know. the thing. Eddie Murphy, I think, kind of saw the. Well, I'm not going to say saw the writing on the wall. Not that stand up comedy can't be a huge career. But that's pretty much. It's like it's it's like. Eddie I'll Murphy. put Cat Williams over both of them right now. Oh, let's God. Not, let's let's be serious. Get here. out of here, Pippin! Pippin! <laughs> How many times that bastard retired? <laughs> I don't know, but I've seen every one of his specials, and they get funnier every time I see them. <laughs> but Richard Pryor made a few movies and and stuck mostly to the stand up comedy. He was scared. And well, that was what every movie should be called. I'm Richard Pryor, and I'm <laughs> scared <laughs> shitless. <laughs> That could have been the name of one. Scared well, not, not only that, but I mean, you see the videos on YouTube we, we've talked about before. He wouldn't do any press. He was coked up to yeah. the bejesus. He was coked out of his mouth. Uh, oh yeah, that, that is true. And I have heard some bits. I listen to Pandora every night as I sleep. 
and it's mostly uh, uh, Cat Williams, Eddie Murphy, and Richard Pryor. And a lot of times I go in there and I hit the old thumbs down on the Richard Pryor because sometimes he just gets rambling. Wow. And it's just like, all right, where are you going? He must have been on Coke, this one. <laughs> well, and, and that was the thing in the one big interview that you, I think it's, is on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, whenever he is just coked up and going oh, God. nuts. Sweating, just but he, sweat he like He liked to pontificate him. about, about the racism in the United States while just coked up out of his mind. That's but, the best no. time to pontificate yeah. about but racism. But Eddie Murphy, on the other hand, did two huge stand-up shows, and then he was on Saturday Night Live, and then he started making movies. If it then, wasn't you know. for Eddie Murphy, we wouldn't have had the Chappelle show Rick James sketch. True. This is true. That's true, too. What, so, what has Rich, Rich, Richard Pryor and, you know, and Ciliarily, if that's a word, spawned? Outside of his career, that necessarily oh, no. didn't have anything. To do. A lot of comedians, not just not TV well, shows. No, but I mean, I'm talking about the sketch, as popular <laughs> as the Rick Ga- Rick James sketch. Name it now. Go. Can't. How many have there been since? Actually, comedy isn't what it was. <laughs> Debate over. 25 years ago. Oh, I win. No. Well, let me ask you. Do you think today? Matt Williams. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> ignore him. Go on. <laughs> Do you think today's comedians are as funny today as they as you know, yesterday's comedians? I haven't watched like everybody. George Carlin. It's just a different. Such. It's a different world oh, to draw from. Very much different. We Pop saw, culture isn't what it was. We watched no. Pat, years ago. We watched the Patton Oswalt special on Comedy Central. It was all right. Yeah, it was all right, but it was fairly different than like the way I look at it. Amy Schumer is almost like the way old comedy used to be. A comedian will will find Patton. a subject. And we'll run that groove, and she's her her everything that she does is about sex. That's just all it is, yep. mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of more of an old school. Whereas Patton Oswalt's a little geeky, although Patton, he did get into the to the whole prostitute thing, which I thought was yeah, good. good. Patton Oswalt <laughs> is what's known as an alternative comic. Your Janine Garofalo's. Uh, your the last uh, comedian Brian Posehn, your Zach Galifianakis, your Nick Thune. Yeah. You're, uh, who's the British guy? Ricky Gervais? No, with the crazy long hair that plays the piano, and I forget. Russell Brand? Ah. No, not Russell Brand. I didn't know Brand. if he played the piano or not. Last uh, comedian I, I, I got into with, uh, was Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg's good. Crazy different, though. I mean, you talk about... He's like Stephen Wright, only yeah. quicker. And which, that was I, can, I never Higher. liked Stephen Wright because eh. he was so slow. But he's yeah. right. Though. I've learned after... After learning to love Mitch Hedberg, I've got a greater appreciation for Stephen Wright now. But yeah, I, I never Hold. could. I remember whenever he was, whenever he was big. I mean, you kind of Stephen had Wright, him, yeah. Or, when yeah. you kind of ever he was everywhere him. at one point. In time. But yeah. he just was so slow and so deadpan. I'm just like, I want, but that I was his. I want, I was like, bring it, come, today. bring it quicker. <laughs> you know, hit me quicker, and he just never would do it. There was a VH1 special about when comedy ruled the world, and it made me think, God, it's the mid-'80s, and that's when it was, and everybody was on. Dice Clay, if you liked him, or even if you didn't. Well, he, the was, sweet, he, was good, he was good for one show. I yeah. think. And that was it. But and he and ran Dice that Clay. line. I and, think you would say that the golden age probably for comedy was around the Seinfeld, where every, every comedian was getting a sitcom, essentially. And for good reason. And that was, you know, even old uh, Geraldo. Greg Rivera? Geraldo was Greg that, Geraldo? that died recently. Yeah, with the he had a show. He had a show. Everybody had that. a show. It was only on for about three episodes. The Boston Common guy. What's his What's his name? Oh, what is his name? He's a horrible person. Oh. Anthony something. Yes, he got a show. Mm-hmm. Horrible show. His stand up's not even any good. Uh, I th- I think the eighties were well. The Tim Allen time. Home Improvement. I mean, his that was a horrible up. show. Mm. He's a horrible person. Talk yeah. about cokehead. Doesn't I don't think I've uh, <laughs> I think he was really seen his stand up that much. Jeff Fox. No one did. I mean, no that one was knew the first guy. Jeff Fox where he was okay. That was the first guy to sell albums since Richard Pryor, probably that made yeah. the I mean, top I, ten. I, or, mm-hmm. I got if you go to your re- your reunion to find a date. You might be a redneck. You know, it was funny. I went to see him live in Huntsville, Alabama when I was living there. And the audience, you know, the audience is, like, totally different from 
the rest of the world because they would finish his punchlines for him. Like everybody in the audience would do that. And I was, I think well, kind of, you might be a redneck. Or, yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's kind of easy. Well, that's yeah. easy. You just say you might be a redneck after he said that's, that's low hanging fruit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it kind of unnerved him or why. If it's a douchey, that's a douchey thing to do. On Pant- it is. Pan- Pandora, I, I used to have the blue collar guys, but then I got to where I just couldn't stand any of them. Ron White, I think, uh, is funny. I couldn't even stand yeah. Ron White well, at, the, at the end. But. You know. But he, there was an early Foxworthy where he was working pretty blue. It wasn't really? necessarily blue, but mildly racist. Yeah, mildly racist. Can you do medium that? <laughs> to 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 light racist? <laughs> There's such a that's thing. like that's like light miracle whip. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, so uh. It's well. We'll yeah. let you go with that one. It was yeah. very good on TV. Show. He didn't do it on the Tonight Show, right? It had to do with something about Atlanta and somebody calling for an ambulance, and he oh, used yeah. what might have been nine one one is a joke. A, a, <laughs> a federal a, offense. A, a, an Afro American's voice oh. to use the oh. parlance of our times. Yeah. See, I've never seen him do anything. I blue. did. I heard him do no, uh, blue. Do no. a couple. Do some. Do some sex jokes that. Kind of went into a little more detail than than we don't like, need wow, that. We don't need Jeff, that. Jeff Foxworthy, and this is because it was an early, early stuff about sleeping with your you sister. <laughs> no, I, I can't even remember. I just, I just remember listening to it, thinking, "Wow, this must be pretty, pretty old Jeff Foxworthy here." Pretty old. Yeah, Eliza Schlesinger. You know, we hit on that it, last. There's week. that name again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some of her comedic stand-up stuff, and well, she's hot, but she's not funny. Uh, same with the chick who portrays Flo on the, uh, pr- what is that? She's hot, but she's not funny? You're going to say that? No, she's not hot anymore. But not anymore. Not Flo. She was on an episode of Mad Men in a big part. Never heard of from her. But she was a comedian. The Flo girl was. No, from, the, yeah. Kiss oh, your the, grits, Sam. Yeah. I know. You know how those Geico uh, commercials always say, kiss my grits, <laughs> lizard. <laughs> <laughs> they should do that. <laughs> We have copyrighted <laughs> that idea. First off, is Flo from Alice still alive? Oh, yes, she is. And she was in Mrs. Doubtfire at the beginning. Oh, man. She was She's in Home and Home and too. Kiss my grits, Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello. Hello. Kiss my grits. <laughs> I remember watching the uh, shit out of some Alice. That, yeah. Off the rails. That should be our tagline. And, it, and, and the, the theme song for Alice, sang by the doobie wonderful doobie and doobie lovely doobie. Linda Lavin, was one of the most depressing sounding. It was just like, come I don't on, think it Alice. quite went like that. <laughs> and it did. I don't even if hardly. you listen to it, she was on Ludes when she did it. <laughs> doobie 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 at the end. Yeah, she does oh, say that. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> It was even oh, even as a God. kid, I was like, "That woman is depressed and needs lithium." Well, she was she wanted to be a singer, no, an actor. And I didn't even know what lithium was until Nirvana started singing about it. <laughs> she wanted to be a singer, and then she worked in a diner. So, dear Lord, yeah, early to bed, early to rise. Yeah, put up with Mel. Makes shit. a woman very depressed. <laughs> well, if you have to deal with Mel, Vera. Vera. What was Mel's last Catches name? Sharples. Sharples. Mel Sharples. Sharples. How do you know this? That's true. <laughs> it's Sam. Oh, yeah. It happened in the eighties. Some bitch. He knows God. it. Yeah, Sam is like. <laughs> and Vera Brooke. Oh, I don't know her last name. <laughs> what the hell? I bet. I bet Sam does. <laughs> All I know is the opening credits are opening those straws. <laughs> it's like the yeah, funniest was... thing. She was a dingbat, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. The dingbat. Dingbat. I remember okay. uh, how was it Howie? What was the what was the telephone Mandel. man that looked really weird? Sounds like Howie had there. the big glasses, that, had the glasses, and had like the sideburns. Was his uh, name Howie? Am I making that up? I don't know. Howard sounds familiar, but uh, I remember him. You talk about Sam. Doesn't that whole know. show was just a depressing show. Everybody hated where they were in life. They that show could go over well today. Each other. And it was on a long time. And it, it was, was on a really like, long time. I watched it and I was just like, man. <laughs> now, Different Strokes was a bit more depressing or deeper than I remember. I was it. just like, I hope I die before I get old. <laughs> <laughs> Different Strokes was depressing after the fact because all the kids died or Basically. committed suicide or did drugs or were assholes. <laughs> so. Should I? Yeah, go ahead. What is it? You're going to hear it. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's it. 
That's it. Is it going to play? Oh, yeah. Devin. Is, Devin's oh, working on, Devin. technology. Who knows if this is going to work? Turn it up. You don't even That's have one of the turn later up. episodes, isn't it? We missed That's the a later one, man. That's a later one. I can see now why she was a waitress and not a singer. Fix payback. <laughs> the straws. They went very with the straws. <laughs> For those of you watching, oh, there's on the sun. What'd you think of the kid on Tommy? the show? Tommy. The Tommy. Uh, he was uh, Joe's brother. In oh, life. now this is not Flo. This is uh, Diane, Diane Ladd, Ladd, who yeah. was in the original Alice. Doesn't live here anymore. Right. Movie. This is post Flo. Well, then this is horse shit. <laughs> Yeah, that was a happier Alice thing. <laughs> That's when she came to terms with her lot in life. Yeah, with her depression, she <laughs> realized that she was never going to make it out of the damn restaurant. But she, she did, was probably going to die there. I think that's how the show long. ended. Tommy was going no to go idea. off to college, meet someone, and be murdered by that someone, and she was going to die alone. I think alone. it took her getting married to a guy and him getting her out of that place. Is I what, think maybe I think that's, that's how it ended, yeah, but I don't know. Just, so what does that tell you about... Gold digger. <laughs> Yeah. It's like a Disney it. movie. A man had to save her. That's right. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a woman sexist. can't do it on her own. Need the strength of a man to make it in this world. Wow. Thanks, Alice. You're an example for women everywhere. <laughs> Marianne and Ginger are the ones that kept him on that damn island all that time. <laughs> yeah, that's what Those bitches. <laughs> How dare you talk about Marianne and Ginger like that? They were the best. Uh, speaking of... Uh, Crazy Speaking people. of what? Oh, crazy people. I was uh, looking at the Twitters today and uh, <laughs> saw a uh, tweet from a local news channel. And I made mention of this to Dustin. This is sad. You know, we're in the age of uh, the selfie. When everybody's yes. taking selfies now and it's all over the place, you realize... I don't. Knock it off. We've ha- I've had an ass full of the selfies. I'm well, not that important. There was a woman. Neither are they. That's the thing. Yeah. There was a woman, and I don't. I don't know where it was. Probably is either South Carolina or Florida. I'm guessing, <laughs> because those are the two as bat shittiest, crazy. Florida. Damn don't forget Florida. Places. No, ever. he said Florida. Oh, South, he did Carolina. Say, okay. South, South Carolina, Carolina is just as crazy. You 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 watch. It's either South Carolina or Florida for the crazy shit. Man. Or Germany. <laughs> when yeah, the governor of South thing. Carolina is off hiking the Appalachian Trail, that's when South Carolina started going down the shitter. So, uh, really, th- this woman put her six-year-old son in the back seat of her car. Apparently, had a loaded weapon back there as well, and the six-year-old <laughs> ended up shooting and killing the mom in the head. And that's a very sad story. I'm sure. I don't know, to I don't, some of us, I don't feel so. Uh, <laughs> but the picture they used. I'm told this is a sad story. <laughs> the picture they used for the oh. mother who was killed. You know What's how when so, somebody is killed and the family gives a photo for someone to put yeah. on TV? The, mm-hmm. yeah. For more of the the more uh, 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 interesting crimes or headline grabbing or devastating or tragic. And it was a selfie of the woman in the car throwing up the deuces. I saw that picture. I didn't. And I was like. I didn't know what the story was, though. I wonder if they put that in the paper for an obituary. Shit. Yeah, you know, <laughs> duck face selfie, <laughs> assholes. She wasn't duck facing, but she oh, was. Okay. She, she was, was almost duck facing. <laughs> and it's like we're 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 in the age now where people's when you die, the photo that people are going to remember you by is you in a selfie throwing up the deuces or a finger. It's, you know what's going to happen? You got to quit, people. You know what? Stop gonna, with the selfie. What I don't understand is. Is you don't I, want to die and have that be your last <laughs> known photo, visual, your last known well, photo of you doing. What they're going to do is they're going to go to Facebook and they're going to get our pictures for. No, our that's probably right. true. You're going to have that lucha lucha mask on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna hey, have, uh, I was on the cover of, of Time, Time Magazine in that mask, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that's right. How dare you? This has been on Time. <laughs> That's a magazine. And by the way, I'm not lying when I say that. There was, no, it's true. There were 1,400 uh, 1, other people on it, too. Yeah, he was on the cover. I was there, he and was. I was in the story. But So it, uh, it's just we've, we've got to quit this. Let's stop but being What idiots. I don't understand is I can understand taking a selfie like, you know, you're 
out somewhere or like whenever you're at the at the Oscars, you take a selfie. But whenever you're just... I thought you were going to say when you're in the octagon, you take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> when Why you not? get your first professional yeah, fight, you're, like, you're in the octagon, you take a selfie. You know, you're like Tyler Breeze. <laughs> Except you're not doing the duck lips because your mouth has been destroyed and it's all bruised up. Now, but, you saw the one, not to interrupt you, but the kid that got kicked by the train you. in the head. Oh, I did see yeah, that. that. Yeah, that was the selfie. Oh, kicked yeah. What? Yeah. Somebody, what? He, was, he was like on a... Out, out, you know, like waiting it wasn't for a train. In America, or, it was somewhere waiting else. for a train or something, and the Russia? train, the train was going by, it just, and someone oh. stuck their foot out and kicked him across the face. The instant he took the picture, so his head is a little off kilter, like his jaw I, is kicked out. You know, I need to see this. Yes. It's there's, be there's beautiful. Video, yeah. But anyway, I, I can understand when you're doing something or you're in a, a specific place and you want to kind of take a selfie where no. you, people can see what's going on behind no, you. No, you can't understand that. But Whenever you're just, you know, going to work, walking out, and getting in your car, you're like, you know what? It's Monday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, mean, that, that, that's, I, I don't understand this. There's don't taking know. selfies, and then there's taking a picture. There are some people. I'm sorry, your friends. I'm friends on Facebook with you. You take the same picture every day of yourself, and I don't understand it. I'm a narcissist. <laughs> this is. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's weird. It but, so you know, yeah, and. and I, I hope that they just bought a forty deuces. Well, and then here, here's the here's the the other part of that. That's racist. If the family, <laughs> <laughs> I racist. am sure there are plenty of people of all races, colors, and creeds that enjoy forties. Ask Dustin. Dustin's had a forty. They're not that bad. Dustin loves forties. Well, when he I was in, when I was in college, 60s if he could get them, <laughs> this is true. Uh, but oh God, that's his favorite brand <laughs> <laughs> from Saturday Night Live. Yep. But whenever the worst thing that can happen is if the news organization that was talking about this story decided or the family said, oh, just go to her Facebook page. Uh, she didn't believe in privacy, so it's all public. Right. And that was the best photo they could come up with. Yeah. you just Like that was the most tasteful <laughs> or that was just the best one they could go for, you know. Yeah. So what did they what did they not Choose. Did they give her name? Can we look her up the, on Facebook? The the tramp stamp <laughs> pick got the, some ink done. Pick. I, don't I know. thought the picture was used in in reference to this person was stupid and now they're dead. <laughs> but, oh, oh wow. it could have been. It could have been. No, that okay, it. no, no. Wow. That's why they saying, chose you it. know what I mean, though. <laughs> yes, that, I know yeah. what you mean. Here's so here's why they her. used the picture. <laughs> it was the scene of the crime. She yeah. took it in the car. <laughs> yeah. Did so they have the car to it they did it? Just picture a six-year-old with a forty-five, <laughs> mm-hmm. and you you know what happened. Deuces, oh my God. bitch. Deuces. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. <laughs> Aaron, I, why would you rails. impersonate my voice and say something like that? <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. That's I'm sure someone is very sad that this all happened. It is. Yeah. But it's our also thoughts. said that we're in the age of I selfies. I think the point is and the our selfie prayers is go bad. out to the family yeah. of the selfie victim. I is it the just me or victim. do you think it's weird that we have a president that does selfies? I mean, oh, and Joe Biden too got in. And now, now he's Prince on Instagram. How else Ooh. are you going to get the kids to vote for you, Sam, if you don't take a selfie? Well, see, that's weird. The president, the president's his his electing days are over. Exactly. So, that's true. He's just it's trying just, to keep up with the kids. I don't know. I just thought even if it was, <laughs> even if they were around back then, I don't think. Reagan would have done that? No. I think he would, he would have, have been, been beneath him. figure the damn time. If Reagan <laughs> was 20 years old today, he wouldn't even know what the hell was going Every was. time Reagan picked up the phone, he asked Sarah to call somebody down the hall or something. He, he never, he didn't even dial a phone. Aunt Nancy, what, what is this contraption? I can That's call, pretty good. I, can, I can't call out, but people can call yeah. in. <laughs> Nuclear that, war, I'm on it. That, my dears, is what's known in the business as a callback. <laughs> you know, wouldn't it be weird if our presidential portraits were selfies instead of, you know, professionally? They ought to start doing that. Let's get they a ought selfie. to do that when they do I shots want now. to see a damn selfie of a duck lip Martin Van Buren, by God. <laughs> I'm sure it can be done. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln on the battlefield. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs> Just beat the South. Deuces. <laughs> 
I mean, who was it that died of the the cold after his? Was it Van Buren? William Henry Harrison. Yeah, William Henry Harrison got a touch of the croup. Deuces. <laughs> got a post. <laughs> fixing to, fixing to uh, go give my uh, inauguration speech. It's cold out, but I'm a man. Deuces. Deuces. Got to get my speech on, <laughs> duck lips. Got to put it on Twitter and Instagram. So now Nixon Facebook. would have kind of cocked his fingers over the other way. Nixon would have got not a crook. Double deuces. deuces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He probably invented oh, it. God. He probably did. Going to China, deuces. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. What? What other? What other? We're Kennedy? wanting. We're wanting. Kennedy was young. The the status update of a presidential <laughs> selfie I would from follow, history. I would have followed Kennedy on Twitter. I Send us your oh, yeah. <laughs> just oh. paying Maryland deuces. deuces. Send us your favorite. Just had a back rub. <laughs> Send us your... You, you remember when I talked about talking over each other? Send us your favorite presidential selfies at uh, Channel 1 ITV. Now, what if it was... Grand Schemes at Channel 1 <laughs> ITV. What if it was... And Nick, no distasteful Kennedys. Uh, Selfies status updates. You know, right. this is, this he doesn't pro- really mean that. Were we gonna this say? is probably going to end up some some artist is going to end up making selfies oh, and painting God, them. That or would something. be fantastic. We've well, got see a that nephew guy that that's pretty stuff. good at art with MS Paint, and people were taking. He was taking requests, and he had some party, and it was yeah. He Man and a pants people party. Getting drunk at his house, and mm-hmm. yeah, I'll, that. I'll, I'll show it to you. Was his yeah. name Adam Rose? <laughs> No. Don't be a lemon, be no, a rosebud. What were you going to say, though? I was going to say, what if it extended past uh, presidential whatevers and went to world leaders like, uh, you know, say... Chris Jeff or somebody? No, say one day, you know, Barack Obama was hanging out with Putin and they did, like, uh, the deuces and, you know, Putin oh, had a 40 a- in his hand. Ooh, Putin gonna Putin. invade Crimea, deuces! Yeah. Now, if there's any world leader that's going to take a selfie, it's Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. They, I don't know. His it's, only problem is, is he can't get the phone bar enough to wait to see his pecs. He could he he you see get him his as the pecs in the uh, selfie? Could you see him as the Riddler in the old Batman series? He Frank does, Gorsuch. He does look like him. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> He's, he would. <laughs> That's a villain, right there. He almost dropped another f bomb. <laughs> he would kill <laughs> the Riddler. <laughs> you know. Putin would kill Batman. Putin's the only villain Batman could not defeat. <laughs> man. <laughs> You know, Putin looks like kind of a James Bond villain, too. And he would be known as the Putin. Or the Poot Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Poot Man? <laughs> Poot Man. He'd be, he'd be Pooter. The Pooter. Pooter. <laughs> so, Batman. So, Batman, would you like some vodka before you die? Or was that uh, Count Dracula? Or Chocula? Count Dracula. Yeah, believe. Count Chocula. <laughs> Just kill Batman, deuces! <laughs> So, uh, what's our time looking like over there, Devon? We got 52 minutes in. 52 minutes? I don't even know what Hit some email. Email. Hit some email. Yeah, we'll do an email. It's 3.57. I've got a text. And i got to go in an hour. Word. Deuces. I've got a text. I've got to use the bathroom. Dropping deuces. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Aaron, you signed up for this gig. I know. You're going to have to put up with my belching and my uh, scatological talk. Uh... This email is from Mr. Jerry Mercer, our uh, friend from the Great White North. Oh, it's the Great White North. Uh, subject line, best first song on the debut album. Uh, Grand Schemers, I gave the best first song on a debut album topic very little thought. So did we. Uh, I have to. Well, Erin, didn't she brought in like a she list? Did. She did. You had have more, you still got you? topics over huh? there? Do you have more? No, 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 no. Okay. Th- that's all I wrote down. Do you have okay. topics? No, I don't. Okay. So Erin actually did her homework. Uh, the only topic I brought forth was the selfies. Uh, I have to go with Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath from their debut album, Black Sabbath. Uh, what Ozzy and company lacked in creativity regarding song and album titles, they made up for an unrefined musical evil. This hmm. song kicked it all off in my experienced metal opinion. Also, Rands, Van Halen, Running With The Devil from Van Halen. I, 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 I see a pattern forming. Metallica, <laughs> Hit the Lights from Kill 'Em All. Oh, oh that's a good one. That's, yeah. a good, that's a good one. And Rainbow, The Man on the Silver Mountain. Richie Blackmore's man. The Man and on the, the Silver, Silver Mountain. Mountain. Oh, Devin knows the song. He knew that yeah. like the 1970s. <laughs> I've heard it. Shocked. Deuces. Uh, this email is <laughs> from uh, Nicholas West. No subject line because he got no time for subject line. 
Uh, Got to throw this gold out before I forget. This show is more smoking than Matthew McConaughey on True Detective. Ah, how about that? <laughs> I know we're going to use that every week when we promote this. That's a lot of smoking. <laughs> hey, Great face uh, says. Oh, I thought he meant Matthew McConaughey was hot. <laughs> That's what I thought he was going to say. He meant smoking as in oh. yeah, not smoking. the character because he was... Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like Jim Carrey, <laughs> the man. Smoking. <laughs> smoking. He didn't, do it. he didn't write it like this. Smoking, not king. Smoking. Oh. See, if he said smoking... I, I would have thought cigarettes, yes. okay. but he said right. smoking right. like Jim Carrey. Yeah. Right. Do you think Jim Carrey's hot? Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> well, we can all agree we clear, Matthew we cleared McConaughey. That up, didn't we? we can all agree Matthew McConaughey is stunning. Uh, a family man with a heart of gold, but at night he's a stone cold rapist. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> but only those people who are asking for it. Gold, I tell you, gold. That's his show. Don't so he's remember? comparing us to the guy that is a family man with a heart of gold, but a rapist? Order. Or am I reading too He's much? He's not talking that? about this show is oh, more okay. smoking. Okay. It's the new sitcom on so, NBC. Sitcom. Oh, I've got right face. Right See, face. I didn't do oh. homework on that either. <laughs> <laughs> we still have time though. We did. We did come. Up, we did come up with an idea. I'm not sure we're going to talk about it, but we did come up with a a detail idea that will go with it's the show. It's just a piece of an idea. It's just you know how. Uh, uh, on uh, I hate to go. Back you don't to give enough thought into something. Home improvement because it's a horrible show. Uh, but uh, you know how on uh, Home Improvement they had uh, Wilson? Was that his name? Wilson? Yeah, Wilson. Yeah. Uh, and you only saw like half mm-hmm. of his half face. Of his face mm-hmm. for the viewers on YouTube. But he's uh, got his hand, up, got above my his hand above my nose. Yeah. Obscuring the bottom half of my face. Anyway, uh, our character is basically kind of like that. You only see him kind of passing in oh, passing. I thought it was going to be a female and you just saw her tits or something. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's a part of an idea that I had. You know, we gutter. tried. <laughs> the gutter. God Folks. knows we tried <laughs> to walk that fine line of between sophistication, stupid, <laughs> stupid deuces, and clever. <laughs> and Sam, Sam just t- took us right over the line of stupid. He kicked that line across. I'll the field. not hear the word tits and again on this podcast. All right, here we go. Except you just said it. <laughs> They're either breastuses or boobs. All right, here we go. Okay. Or teats. If you're talking about, like, animals. What about door knockers? Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you, six? <laughs> really? We've gone back to the third grade. You need to get better <laughs> euphemisms. Uh, Ta-ta's. <laughs> quit texting me, person! All right. Anyway, Rape Face's show is a show about Rape Face. Okay. And it will be called Rape Face. Uh, so let's see. Who would star? Here? Who would star? What actor would star in oh. Rape Face? Oh. What actor has got a rape face that could star for Putin? Nick? Um, uh, Paul Giamatti? Yes. Could, could very well. Louis, Louis C.K. Put a little stubble and, a, and some <laughs> crazy weird Dahmer glasses on. Perfect Rape Face. James Spader? I don't know. James Spader might be a little too sophisticated for rape face. We need someone who's really schlubby. Tommy Lee Jones? <laughs> Devin. <laughs> no! No, Devin! I've already, we've given you fine examples. Louis C.K., Paul Giamatti, schlub, Putin. schlubby. Uh, schlubby. Zach Galifianakis. Yeah. If you get him to shave, or do you want him to keep the beard? Keep the beard. Not... not a full beard. You've got to just you know, the stubble, yeah, okay. like like Homer Simpson type oh, okay. stubble. Okay. Uh, and uh, the that of course the uh, the Dahmer glasses. Speaking of Dahmer glasses, <laughs> who's ever said that? <laughs> childhood home. We saw this on At Midnight several weeks ago. Could have been several days ago. I don't know. And Jeffrey Dahmer's childhood home, the home he committed his first murders in, mind you. Was uh, on sale for what was it like two hundred and twenty? Does the fridge come with it? Does who? The oh, Sam! <laughs> no, but the grounds do. You never know what you're going to find on the ground. Okay. Uh, I don't think he was shoving them at the fridge at that time. He was first starting out, so I'm assuming you'll find a lot of uh, small cat bones in the ground, igloo in the coolers yard. and stuff like that. Uh, maybe coolers buried with human heads. Anyway. And uh, teats. It was on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're on probation, Mister. You're on probation. And the house was selling for two hundred and about two hundred twenty. Two hundred 
$230,000. Very inexpensive for someone who's looking for the home. Of it, was like, it was like a 2,500-square-foot home. I mean, it, I mean it was a nice house. It was out in the death. woods. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Sure like it was. Because yeah. how the yeah. hell are you going to be a successful serial killer if you live downtown? <laughs> Who uh, knows? His life might have taken a completely different direction had right. he lived if in the If he lived really. in the city, he might have only killed bad people. Anyway, he might have been he might have been the real Dexter. Who knows? True. He might have worked at a diner. Where did Gacy live? Did he live in town? I think maybe he lived in town. I think he did. He was kind of a suburb kind of. He place. had he have, a very spacious uh, uh, underneath. Yeah. Of the house. Uh-huh. Right. Is that, is that what, yeah, the cross basement. Space. <laughs> basement, and it wasn't a basement. It was a hatch, cross space. Yeah. It was a hatch. If you will. It's where you shove the bodies in the hatch. I don't know how you got down there to dig in the hat man. That's neither here nor there. I guess not. Dahmer's Here's murder first murder house, as we'll call it. If you're in the if you're in the market for a murder house, this one would be the perfect one to buy. It looks very nice, very homey, uh very uh unassuming. Uh, would you buy a house with a history like that? Like poltergeist, for example. Uh, depends on the up? price. Charles Manson has got a woman re- ready to marry him, and they are indeed engaged. Do you think someone might buy Jeffrey Dahmer's first murder house? I'm saying, would you? Would you have a Would house? I? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm talking or a house with a history. Put it that way. If uh, A history as in somebody committed suicide? We're talking just poltergeist. Like the Amityville Horror House. That or Horror oh, House? By now, the way. now we're <laughs> getting into something altogether different. No, say poltergeist, for example. It was a burial ground. Yeah. The Amityville Horror. Horror? Horror. The original? We're okay. talking about Horror. it? The original, right? The original. Neither one were really that great, but the original was all right. I never thought it was that scary, That's that great a premise. There were a lot of there were a lot of bee attacks. But my oh! whole, the point I, I'm I'm making here is I don't think you're about it. every eight <laughs> years they remake this movie as if you know this well is just so deep full it of millions of dollars in, in storytelling. We got to keep going the back. Greatest haunted house stories of all time. It's I guess The Conjuring was great though, and that was an Amityville type of story. It was also a Megadeth song on uh, Peace Sales, Sells, but, but who's, who's buying? buying? You're yeah. an idiot. That, he, <laughs> he will never play that again. Yeah, he's he's got got well, but I, I haven't seen The Conjuring, he's but he's got I don't know that they attached it to the Amityville thing, did they? They didn't. I'm just saying it's a yeah. ha- it's a house with a history. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, Dave Mustaine will not play that really satanic song anymore because he's got beliefs. You're right, Sam. You, you nailed it. Anyway, getting back to the murder, death, kill house. Wait a minute. That's a totally different. That's bound, bound torture kill. That's a totally different serial killer. Murder, death, uh, kill. There house. is a home in this area that we had heard was selling for what was it, three forty, three fifty? Yeah, something like that. And I was sitting there thinking, why in the hell would I want to buy a home around here for three hundred fifty thousand dollars when I could save a hundred and twenty grand and buy Dahmer's home in Ohio? Was Good it Ohio? Point. Yeah, it was Ohio. Where all serial killers are born and bred. Really? They're trained. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was Ohio. Then Florida. He moved. He later. Oh, moved they all to, make their way down the floor. <laughs> he later moved to Milwaukee, which is Algonquin for, for the good, the good land. land. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm, if you had the option of buying just a regular old home for three hundred fifty thousand right. dollars, or Jeffrey Dahmer's home, childhood home, you don't know he committed a murder in the home. Yeah, he did. Okay, you do know he committed the murder. He picked, he picked up home. the hitchhiker and killed him. That was his first kill. I didn't know I had a dumber scholar on the damn podcast. <laughs> You're shitting on me. Anyway, <laughs> if you could buy a regular old run of the mill house for $350,000, right. or you could buy Jeffrey Dahmer's murder death kill house for $220,000, would you buy Jeffrey Dahmer's house? Yes. If I liked it, I think so, I would. Uh, it looked nice. Did he? Okay. I mean, did he? Quite literally lived there for 17, 18, 19? Probably. How many years? He, he tortured no. a lot of kitty cats. Now, we've got the oh, scholar. I draw the line the there. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. This is, this is a house that's out in the woods, kind of set, yeah. you know, set yeah. in the 70s. Yeah. It's a very large like house. Like I said, when he graduated from high school is when he huh. killed the first victim. But I don't know if he and again his parents divorced too. So yeah, I but see, did he, was, did, he do the, did he do the working on animals before he worked up to 
Yeah, Didn't he yes, burn this in yeah. the 70s? Working yeah. on an animals, going down, 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 working on now, see, look at it like I this. killed a human. <laughs> look, look at it like this. Maybe you can scour the grounds for bones and That's things what I and then sell them on eBay. You totally could. Devin. Wait, sell them on eBay. Yeah. You, you want to sell human Authentic bones on Dahmer eBay? Dahmer no. kitty bones. I'm talking about Three dollars a femur. Yeah. Okay, so you want to sell animal bones on eBay. Why not? I'm not saying I would like to. I'm just saying <laughs> that. It's Dustin's like, not know. saying he has or has any plans to. <laughs> but if he had some animal bones, he would think about I'm selling just saying, them on if eBay. I, if I've got a mortgage <laughs> and I want to make a little extra scratch... <laughs> I'm I'm hunting up some animal bones. Right. Instead of doing like a sequel to Mrs. Doubtfire. Right. That's right, man. Definitely. <laughs> Everybody's going to tell you, uh, you got to invest in animal bones. You know, Gold, <laughs> shit. I don't know which is uh, creepy. Commodities, shit. Animal bones is the new Animal bones, animals way. killed by yeah. Dahmer. I don't, We're going to find out that we're going to have a wolf of Wall Street in another 25 years, only it was dealing with animal bones. If you could get I, them autographed, that would have been I don't know who too. I'd be more afraid of. And wolf bones. Somebody who would buy the animal bones from a serial killer house or somebody who's selling the you know, animal bones from a serial Let's killer say house. buying them. Well, what about just buying the house in general? You know, you're a little off kilter. Somebody would, not me. Well, apparently, I don't think they did, though. I think they took it off the market because no one would buy it. Make it a museum. That's probably, a good idea. Yeah. Probably. Who's going to want to... Oh, it's yeah. like the Black, black, I wouldn't like even the black do Museum. Black oh, museum. yeah. And over here is where... <laughs> I would be willing to bet, and I don't want to cast aspersions, but I would be willing to bet that anybody who's interested in buying the Dahmer home probably doesn't have 200 grand on them. No. Probably doesn't have 200 on them, so... <laughs> That's why it's not. Being they have selling. bitcoins only. <laughs> but yes, I'm look. I'm in the market for a house that someone's been murdered and or committed suicide in. God, how would you explain that to a date? You know, she wouldn't go back. Would to you the like house. to come over to my murder house? I'll have my ghost <laughs> fix us a little chicken. We can have a little sex. See, oh, I have this secluded house out in the woods. And yeah. oh yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> living. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dahmer <laughs> murdered six or seven, maybe one dude. I don't know. I'll have to talk to my Dahmer scholar on this. I don't know the exact <laughs> history. <laughs> One. <laughs> one, okay. It's All just right. one guy. Come on. All right. Let's, oh, it's let's, not like he killed a whole bunch let's of people. proceed man. with Rape Face, who probably knows more about this subject than we do. And I'm not talking about Dahmer history. I'm just talking about, you know, killing Fel- people. Felonies in general. Yes. Uh, I think you need to rehash how At Midnight picks the weakest shit for their shows. How is the stuff they pick for Ruin a Cartoon better than Looney Coons? That's just wrong. Whoa. I know somebody wow. that you need to hang out with who lives around here. God. Peter Cheeks Dragon. <laughs> Is that Peter the Dragon? Was there Peter the Peach Dragon? Yeah. Peach Dragon. Oh, never heard of it. Peter Cheeks Dragon. Rape Ape. <laughs> Rape Ape. Rape Ape. <laughs> that's a good one. Gape Ape. <laughs> now, that's just Over 40 <laughs> feet wide. Uh, <laughs> middle-aged deformed yoga tortoises. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Dora, let's explore her. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and Chippendale's Roadkill Rangers. <laughs> Bastards, he says. I agree. <laughs> At midnight. Sometimes I still play along when it's, you know, I do a, a hashtag war that I, I really yeah. want to just throw up stuff up against the wall. But usually you have to be a verified comedian to get on that. Commodian. Uh, yeah, yeah, basically a commodian. Good one, Sam. Say teats. Teats. Uh, <laughs> Sam was mentioning a nerdy guy with glasses who is a prick on the tack of the show, thinking yeah. it was Mark Marin. I, yeah, I'm yeah. sure he was talking about Matt Mira. That was it. Uh, between him, Chris, and Jonah Ray, between him, Chris, and Jonah Ray, have become insufferable. That, that Jonah Ray. That's that's I don't know if that's supposed to be a period and this is a new sentence. Jonah, uh, to, uh, okay. Jonah Ray, he's been on at midnight. Okay, he's comedy death ray podcast. Uh, between Matt, between Matt and Jonah Ray's too cool for school hipster. This email has devolved into <laughs> I'm following the ramblings I'm, I'm of following. someone who might have written this with his own shit. I'm following this. Uh, I had Bobcat Gothwaite put me on blast once because I commented on a picture of him. Jonah and another guy all wearing the same hipster-style thick-rimmed black glasses. Is yeah. he still alive? Bobcat Bob Gothwaite? Yeah. 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 Is his career still alive? He's like a director or producer yeah. type dude. Wow. 
He works on. Uh, he used to work on Jimmy Kimmel's show. Directed it or produced it or something. I only remember him from Police Academy. <laughs> Zed, that ought to that don't ought make to me flare my nostrils. I loved Zed on Police Academy <laughs> Two. Great. Police Academy Two was the greatest, and, I, and maybe it's because we were kids and we were stupid. But Zed was the best. Yeah, uh, I used to love the Nerdist podcast, and they get great guests. But man, it is hard to listen to now. Chris Hardwick's just got that that voice that I I just can't. It's almost as if he is his voice is ironic. He's ironic in everything he says. Right. Everything he says that he likes, he doesn't really like. He's making fun of people who like it by saying it. I, I never so got that. Well, of course, I really remember most of his stuff from Web Soup and stuff like that. And I didn't think he was. As, I didn't think that was good. I didn't think he was as bad I as mean, uh, what's his name on Talk Soup or the Talk. Or Joe McHale. Yeah. Joe McHale. I thought he was a bit How more. Dare you. <laughs> I don't um, like Mikhail on t- ready to shit on you for the soup, but I like him on uh, community. community. I like John Henson though. Yeah, John Henson, Skunk Boy, Wipeout. Yeah, well, I didn't watch Wipeout, but uh, you didn't watch guy. Wipeout. I didn't watch. Wipeout. I've got to finish. It's this an email. okay show. I'm about to pee my pants. Okay. Uh, a suggestion for a show to watch if you haven't yet. Check out Orphan Black. Working on it. Ooh, ooh, Heard of it. Good. The first season is on Amazon Prime for free, and the second season starts this week. We've got it on the DVR. It's a damn awesome show with some nice plot lines and sci-fi mystery elements. Another great recommendation is the new Mike Judge series, Silicon Valley. Or is it Silicon? Silicon? I don't Silicon know. Silicon They changed Valley? the pronunciation yeah. of words Silicon every Carney five years or so. On HBO. Great show. Hilarious and spot on. Dustin, what are your feelings on Silicon Valley? I don't like the guy mumbling. The main character mumbles a Charles lot. Charles Middleditch. Is that his name? His name is Middleditch. I don't know if he's an Indian. Is he from England? Long, long-running middle ditch. I guess. But it, it's... I like it. it. It's it's interesting, but it's almost like comedy for people that are starting businesses. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> entre- entrepreneurial entrepreneurial humor is what it is. <laughs> uh, but wh- But it doesn't try to explain stuff. What were we watching the other day? We were watching the sh- one of the shittiest shows on TV that Dustin loves called Intelligence, uh, starring Sawyer from Lost as a guy with a computer chip in his brain who's basically Oh, chucked, yeah. On, uh... Uh, except he's not funny. Uh, and there, what did he exp- – there... yeah, Oh, this... he said, I couldn't track him because he used a VIOP. No, I, I, no I'm getting a number. He said he, he, he gets phone he, – he's like a cell phone in his head, too. Yeah. He's like, and he was getting called by uh, Cameron from Paris Wheeler's Day Off, yeah, right. who was the bad guy. Yeah. And he wow. said, he said it's, uh, I'm getting a call, but it's uh, uh, a VOIP phone call. And, and, then he, and then he says, it's voiceover internet. Pro, like he explained voiceover internet. To pro- the chick there, and who it, is a CIA agent. I'm like, <laughs> don't you think that chick knows what VOIP is? I don't work for the government. I know what VOIP is. Why do you have this like when you watch CSI when they're explaining to each other? They're in the lab. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're lab technicians. They I, went to school to learn this well, shit. I thought that was for the audiences. Ex- it is. It is for the audience. But it's stupid because when you do it right there to someone who obviously knows that, you're like, well, that guy must be a dumbass. What it is. Sam, it, you've been lied to. It, it's, it's, <laughs> it's poor writing because if right. you just take, if you just take, it's a VOIP call and Maybe just say it on it's a screen. voiceover internet protocol call. You right. could have just said that. it would have worked, but uh, instead it's it's like if you listen to a lot of old time radio, and like if there's Sam somebody, does. Devin does. You know, oh, I, I used to, I I got into it so much I really I can't too. do it anymore. But like if there's if the hero is ever being held at gunpoint and you know he's gonna attack the the guy that's got the gun, he'll say. I'll just have that gun, you know. It's like, <laughs> all right, you just gonna, <laughs> and now form, I'll punch you in the face, you know. Type another stuff. form of lazy writing that Sam may not be aware that is happening in his shows: uh, kidnappings, <laughs> uh, uh, hostage, bank jobs. It's just all horseshit. Every new action show, the first episode will either involve a kidnapping, a hostage situation, or some sort of a bank robbery. Uh, it's horseshit. Those are called cliches, but crappy shows. Are you, are you fixing to shit on me again? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was gonna ask, no, I was going to ask if you watched. Did anybody watch Fargo? No. Yes. yes. We watched What'd Fargo. What'd you think? Uh, I'm in just not, because not. I want to see where the hell it goes. At yeah. first, it was really kind of slow. But the, if you've seen the movie Fargo, the movie Fargo is not exactly The Expendables. 
<laughs> but Billy Bob Thornton was excellent. Oh, he's great. Uh, Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman. Bilbo uh, Baggins. Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins. He was great. Watson. Uh, yeah, I'm Watson mm-hmm. on uh, The Good Sherlock. Anyway, not the the stupid Robert Morton Downey Jr. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I am down for Fargo. What say you? Um, I'm just a little iffy because I love the movie so much. I barely remember it. I, I barely, barely it, remember it. Barely remember it? Yeah. Yeah. I remember oh the wood chipper. Yeah. And the I don't, I don't understand... I, I'm not for certain how this is going to play out simply because... And there's only six episodes. I looked that up. Oh, really? Yeah, I, thought, I, I read there, there was just a, it was just basically a ten-episode miniseries. Or maybe it's that many. I looked up, it said six. What I, so. I, the way I understood it, it was almost kind of like True Detective, right. where this is the Oh, story. they're just going to shit it out it's and be just, done? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> They've got incredibly great abs that makes them shit quicker, and they're going to shit it out. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I believe that maybe after, you know, it's. I do agree. What are you fixing? It, it did go a little We've got slow. We've got to wrap this though, up. But, okay. Um, it was slow. It was slow, but, but it was I mean, an hour a lot, and a half long. But a lot happened. Yeah, I mean, and, a lot happened. And you, yeah, I definitely want to see the what best happens. part was the scene between Billy Bob and Colin Hanks yeah. right at the very end. Yeah, that was all right. Now we're getting somewhere. I was going to ask you real quick. How, do it. How was the uh, real world's? Uh, Free agent. Oh, Always. son of a bitch! We watch didn't watch it last night because yeah, we got caught up in wrestling. Yeah, well, uh, doesn't, doesn't force me to yeah. watch Warrior yeah, stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, hey, it's an asshole. <laughs> it's great. I'm down. It's all essentially every man for himself. People are crying and bitching. It looks like people are just going to go crazy, which is what I want to see. I'm down. I can't even remember what the ver- what shit happened. Yeah, it <laughs> shit went down. Oh yeah, they got rid of. I forgot the the at the end of the first first. Uh, I don't even know what what do they call it. A challenge. The challenge there at the end. One of the one of the rookies ended up the, taking out the, one of the uh, one of the the one of the people that I hate hate hate. And all these things is gone. It's but so unfortunately, awesome. the rookie that but fortunately the rookie that took her out is going to be even more hateable. Yeah, so that's good. I want all the people that I hate on the show because the hateable people make the show fun. If you can't find anybody that's interesting or you want to hate, then the show's shit. But luckily for the real world, every one of them are contemptible, horrible, uh, putrid human beings. Where do we go from? Where do we go from having likable people to people that you hate? Is it just a reality? No, no, no. That's what it they makes do. You feel better about yourself. That's uh, honest to God. You what watch they the do. show and you're that's, like, well, I, I'm not Devin, as shitty Devin, as that person. You'll never be on the real world. I know because you, I mean, I, I honest to God, I'm not I think, hateable. I think you. No, it's not that. It's people, not, no, people, you're plenty. Hey, let's clear that up. People love me, <laughs> but it, I mean, I swear, you have to send in a tape. That, this that, was very quick to say, no, no, no. You're plenty hateable. <laughs> but I, I feel like you have to send in a tape that basically says, you know, like I'm from Kentucky. You know, uh, I hate everyone but white people. And you know, I mean, that, I that's like really, to drink a lot. Yeah, I, 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 just I don't got, care to slap a woman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you're on the show. Yeah, you're in. It's like <laughs> it's like what they did. It's like what they did with uh, uh, Big Brother this last time. Oh, they might have went man. a little too oh, far. No, 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 Big Brother. They calmed that down wow. after the one season where the guy put a knife to the chick's throat. <laughs> well, yeah, but racism, they started trying to weed out the crazy. It yeah. just so happens that people who were very overtly racist made it on the show <laughs> and crazy I guess, yes. I, I, guess, I guess you just can't pick those racists out of a crowd but you know, I mean, have, have you ever heard of a functioning alcoholic <laughs> sometimes there are functioning <laughs> racists <laughs> their racism doesn't necessarily come out but when you end up spending 24 hours a day with them and they've got a camera on them you know you might be at work with bob and he might be he might seem like a good guy but when he goes home he might be putting a hood on his head you know <laughs> well uh, but in big home, brother they home. they took they took a lot of the alcohol out of it whereas that's true I, they whereas in the real alcohol. world in the real world they, they turn it up i it's thought flowing, they it's like you turn on the tap water and it's vodka i thought they drowned the uh, contestants in uh, alcohol th- uh, this past time I didn't think it was not as not as much as they did in the first few seasons of Big Brother. First few seasons of Big Brother, it was every night. What was the? Night. What was the? There Maybe was we a, have I've really got a piss. There was a, a reality show a few years ago. I remember seeing a photo of just like they were in the kitchen and the camera was like passing by as this person was reaching, and it was like on the counter was like five rows deep. 
you know, of like five bottles of like Jim Beam. I'm like sure it was just, sure it was like it was 25 incredible. bottles just all stacked together. Like if you need some whiskey, mm-hmm. just walk by here and grab a bottle and it's yours. I've got to be so bad. I mean, it's really, I'm about to just blow. Okay. Well, I guess we'll wrap it up. First thing, though, I've got, I've got to say, Dustin and I watched, started watching Hannibal this past week. Or we it's watched so it. weird. Ten episodes, I believe. It is the most disturbing, weirdest, darkest, Greatest show on TV. It's just like, wait till season two. It's like you take Dexter, mix it with The Shining, and then mix it with uh, what else did I say? There was something else I said. I don't remember. It's great. It's uh, it's, it's it's good, but it, it's it's, it's a, a wonder weird. this has been allowed to be on TV. <laughs> it's true. It really and is. it'll probably be a miracle if it lasts another season. Though I hope it does. But for a show like this, do you want ten ep- ten sh- ten seasons? Of Hannibal, I mean, no. you go ten seasons. No, so maybe it'll be better if they can wrap it up in like two or three seasons. Maybe right, do, do you want some more Criminal Minds? God, it okay. is. It's, it's uh, Criminal Minds. I had to quit watching after a while because I just got tired of seeing women tortured and murdered and kids murdered. It just got to the point where I can't take it anymore. Real quick, Aaron Survivor, still liking it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or shit. <laughs> I'm not coming back till it's race wars again. Like they did that. I still think. I still think there's one person that needs to go. That blind side was early a blind side, mm. in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But uh, and nobody. Knows I love a good blind about. side though. Oh, what? they've been blindsiding them like every week. Oh maybe yeah. I to, maybe I need to catch up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. What do you think of that cast chick? Cast chick. Yeah, you know the uh, chick. That oh yeah, looks yeah, like, yeah. That flipped on him. Yeah, yeah kind of looks like Velma from Scooby Doo. Yeah, she's a she's a Velma looking. Mm. Sam Finn. <laughs> <laughs> I love Velma from Scooby Doo. No, I like her. She may win. Does she I wear really do. Does she wear pleated skirts and knee socks? She's and just glasses? real nerdy. She's a lawyer. She's one of the brains people. Does she uh, wear glasses? Yes, she does. Braun. Does she yeah. have like knee socks? No. Probably. Not. Oh, is she, is oh. she wearing a turtleneck? No. What, what's her hair look like? Is her hair very Velma like? Actually, yes. Mm, I'm gonna start watching Survivor again. Is she is she w- walking around the bikini? She's not the bikini gal. Oh. No, all right, well, that's fine. She's more of a more mature lady. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Now, what does that mean? A milf? No, not a milf. No, <laughs> she, she ain't no she milf. No. Over forty. She's over forty. She's a lawyer. She? Yeah. Oh. But she does look like Velma from Scooby Doo. Yeah, she. Kind well, of I can, I can. But she's not. I like, can surely get down with a, a an over forty Velma from Scooby Doo. I mean, I'm sure she's right, still plenty all hot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she. You, you just give her a pot brownie, and then there's no telling what could happen. I've got to pee. All right, let's wrap it up. On that note, in the grand scheme of things, nobody gives a shit.